I got in a very nice Yu-Gi-Oh collection recently, and uh, this is just a little bit of the little higher-end stuff that you'll see here that I'm going to work on listing over the next day or so here. Uh, but this person was incredibly nice and top-loaded every single card. Like, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Not complaining. I'll, I'll take the, the top loaders and stuff. But this is a, uh, a very interesting ride here. There's two piles of those, by the way. It's insanely large. Well, let's go dig it in a market watch, shall we? Be like the 33.8% of you guys have not smashed the crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can get to 102,000. Ah, things I never thought I would say for 500. What's going on with them Mecha Phantom Beast tokens out here? Ten dollars, by the way. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I mean that—that's—that's that's okay. I'm—I'm I'm okay with that. Um, Draco sack tokens. Oh well, I mean, fifteen dollars. Okay. Then you get down here to Mega Raptor, and you're like, seventy seventy dollars? No, no, that can't be right. Why? Why would we? Why would it be seventy dollars? That that doesn't make any sense. No, Robbie. No, that's not worth seventy. No, nope, it's not. I agree with you, hundred percent. That there's no way that's worth seventy dollars. But um, buyouts and things are happening with these tokens. Uh, people are wanting larger quantities of these, and I mean, you need three tokens for Aurora Don, right? I mean, why why get different tokens when you can just get one of each? And or three of the same one and just be happy. I mean, let's be honest, the Mega Raptor one probably looks the best next to the Draco Sack token. Ah, this one, this is a funny ha ha one here. So, $165 for the Ghost Rare. It's not bad. All right. You go on down here, you look at the secret, you're like, ah, $85. That's also not bad. And then you get down here to the Alti. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Alti Sacred or Soldier of Chaos is officially, and I crap you not here, officially cheaper than the Seeker Air. I gotta give it up for you, Market. You, you're doing some really weird things out here, guys. You, you really made, obviously, like the Ghost Rare probably should be the most expensive one, but y'all really made the Secret Rare more expensive than the Alti. I didn't think I would ever see the day where that would happen, but ladies and gentlemen, that's the state of the market right now. And uh, it's such a strange one, actually. Ah, Grand Creators, you guys, you guys any strangers to seeing this set doing stupid stuff? Ah, still 165 on these. That's not bad, those maintain. Ah, the rights for 130 plus, okay. Torrential settled at like under 90, that's okay. These Italy's under 70 still is very interesting to me. And then you get down here to Rite of Armesia and you're like, the Ultras are, the Ultras are really going up. Yeah, the Brave Token stuff, really doing its stuff. Solemn Strikes, $64. And then Water Enchantress is $58. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Rite of Armesia's 180 playset. Water Enchantress is 180 a playset at this point in time. So now you gotta ask yourself, well, shucks, is it worth it? I don't know. Noah Punk Foxy Tunes are 55s now. Faithful Journeys are 40s. Yikes. Uh, Exo Sisters, oh, these are creeping up. Not surprised about that. Pax are 30s right now. Hornets are at 29s. Sophia's still at 29s. Oh, yeah. Looks like we got some recovery back here. So try Co's are a whole $16. Yikes. Well, um, for the majority of the market here, I think that things are going pretty all right. I don't see any real crazy stuff, at least in this set, to really comment on. So uh, about these Ash Blossoms, by the way, I also don't know if you guys have paid attention to these, but uh, those are $32 gold rares. Uh-huh. Those are $30 dual devastators. Oh, that's 25s? 25s for maximum golds for feet? 34s. Oh. Shadows of Aha, $35. Oh, $29 for these. Uh-huh. You guys you guys seeing a trend here across all ash blossoms? Um these are all money. Um Ash is officially on its next form of a buyout. Um, and it's so surprising to me that we're seeing 
such crazy rises in price here across the board. I generally am very shocked by this. So we'll have to wait and see how this one goes. I would very massively expect some sort of cooldown on this, but this is insane to me. Flame King Genghis. This one doesn't surprise me at all. Considering everything else in the DDD deck has gone up, why would Genghis not be a $10 card at this point? Duh! <laughs> uh, I had 130 of these like three years ago and I dropped them off at $2 a piece. Uh, talk about long-term uh-ohs. Well, I guess the important thing is at least DDD is starting to see some sort of play. And I think that that's a good thing as a trade-off, ladies and gentlemen. So, yay, Genghis! Value! Battle and Boxer hype. Is it really Battle and Boxer hype here? No. Oh, only like four listings of these. Oh. 50 listings of these, sure. Uh, wow. Ultra rare, still two to three dollars. Okay, that's not bad. I'm seeing still large quantities across the board of Batlin boxers. I I think that this deck is in need of another round of support. Let's be honest here. I don't know why we haven't supported this deck um, in quite some time, but you know what? Maybe Konami will be nice and they'll toss a bone out here to those old Batlin boxer mains. Madolche Salam. We're doing this again. How many how many times? Do I have to witness Salon getting bought out? 22, 23. Good news is there's a few $20 copies left on the market. It's not crazy, but ladies and gentlemen, yeah, Salon's on its next iteration of going straight out the door, I guess. Vampire Duke. Really? These this old Shadow Spectre's rare. This is basically a $2 rare. Um <laughs> Uh, you know, he would have looked super nice if he'd actually gotten a hollow printing. I actually don't know why he didn't get one, but okay. Sure, man. Vampire Duke is worth $2 now. If you got some of these in bulk from that old Shadow Spectres there, it definitely goes and pays well to go back and look at some of these older collections here and kind of see what you can come up with in terms of bulk from back in these sets. Lunalite Perfumes. Oh, well, I mean, hey, the commons are 25 cents. That's good news, all right? Actually, like a dollar after shipping, but all right. But if you want those super rares, it's still going to cost you about $3 per copy for first editions. Okay, so that's cool, I guess. We're, we're maintaining the market on Lunalite Perfumes. Okay. What's going on back here with everything from this structure deck? Zombie Horde is desperately in need of a reprint. We've talked about this a couple of times across our market watches here, ladies and gentlemen, where when you're looking at a structure deck and it's at $69, you can't tell me that Konami's not aware that we desperately need reprints for these. $14? Oh, man. Bouldercock? Okay. Bouldercock is an $8 card. That's good. A little bit cheaper than he was. Bold or Gold Blooms, four dollars. Okay, that's a little bit better. But when you got something down here like Shirinui Solitaire, that's a three fifty to four dollar common in a structure deck. This isn't Max. This isn't Ash Blossom, by the way. But yeah, three dollars on Mizuki's. This is uh, this is rough, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, the market's doing some interesting things. Uh, I was also asked to look at Gore's tokens. Gore's tokens you can still buy for two dollars on the market, which is not. A bad thing. None of these are on TCG Player, by the way. Could not find this. Tried everything. Doesn't exist. Borderload Savage Dragon. Wow. Prismatic Seeker Rare. $30. Huh. Those went up. I see that we're also at like $34 for the Ultras. Huh. You really mean to tell me that Borderload has just maintained $30 as a one of for a majority of its life? Yeah, that looks to be the case, ladies and gentlemen. Ernios, oh my god. How bad did these go up? Oh man. 554, 330, and 200. I'm sick. Holy shit. Wow, and the ultras? Let me guess. Oh my god, $86, almost up to 100. Yikes, they went up. Starlights from Dawn. 550 up to 560, 155 for Iris, 138, $85 and Messiah as a whole, 65. Oof. And then uh I just want to show off Starlight Zeus here. This is uh 
And these have gone down quite a lot. We're at like 380 here on up to, yeah, 390. Them being underneath $400 is not all that surprising to me. So guys, uh, think about what's going on in today's market. Please leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button. So you guys don't miss out more awesome content. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.